Hello everyone, I'm Ben. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we're doing Tech Block Vlog, episode number three. We're going to be talking about gym. That's going to be at the end of the video. We're going to be talking about the videos that I'm working on at the moment. One of them, or two of them, being related to the uh, new keyboard in my setup, which is the Razer Huntsman Elite Keyboard. Uh, click on the card in the top right hand corner there to check out the uh, unboxing video of the keyboard if you're interested of course. I'm currently working on my review of that keyboard and I'm also currently working on my comparison video between the Huntsman Elite and the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 keyboard that is sitting right there. So I've got a little secondary setup here with another Razer Mamba Hyperflux mouse and mouse mat combo as well as the uh, Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 mechanical gaming keyboard that is sitting right here. So that keyboard I did use for probably close to a year before switching to the Huntsman Elite. So in my comparison video, I'll just be talking about the pros and cons of each keyboard and which one you should really go with depending on your needs, I guess. So the keyboard comparison video will be dropping first, followed by the Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard review as I would have owned it for probably like a week or two now and I'll tell you all the issues I had and all the ways I fixed all the issues I had with that keyboard since if you saw my unboxing video, you saw that the um, Razer Synapse 3 software really didn't want to work and the Chroma Studio, which is like Razer's Chroma Suite, and you can customize like all the lighting effects quite in depth on that software. But of course, the Chroma Studio software was uh, a little bit broken and every single time you'd press apply effect, the program would crash. To any effect on any peripheral, it would just crash. You're just like, nope, I'm not gonna apply effects. I don't know why, I'm just, I'm just gonna crash all the time, so. I figured, right, I'm just going to reinstall the software. I did, and it fixed everything. Now everything works fine, so that's all fixed. I can now apply like advanced chroma effects on everything without any problem. And another bug I kind of noticed in the Razer software is that it doesn't like having two Razer Mamba Hyperflux mice plugged into the same PC. It detects one, but it doesn't really detect the other one. It's basically like forever loading in the Razer Synapse software. So I don't know what's up with that Razer, but I do understand that this kind of like setup scenario here is quite rare, but I just plug both of them in just so I can have like lighting for the comparison video for both of them. So anyway, enough talking about the keyboard comparison videos and keyboards in general. Let's address my headset situation. So in my plans for my gaming setup video and another video, I think I also mentioned the fact that I'm going to be buying the Razer Man of War wireless headset. Now before you type in the comments like, M, don't buy the headset. Thank you for all your feedback. I won't be buying the headset. Instead, y'all have suggested that I pick up the Razer Thresher Ultimate headset instead. It's even more expensive, coming in at I think 250 pounds in the UK, which is very expensive for a headset. And uh, I'm also buying, of course, the uh, Razer Chroma headset stand that I think costs 60 pounds as well. My bank account is not going to be happy after buying that headset and headset stand. Uh, but that is the headset that I'll be buying now instead of the Man of War headset as there have been so many comments saying, M, don't buy the Man of War headset. It'll break in like a week or two. The headband is apparently like really cheaply made. It's all plastic and everything. It'll break. So instead, they said, buy the fresher ultimate headset instead. So that's what I'll be doing. That headset is a lot more expensive, but that is the headset that I'll be buying now instead of the Man of War headset. So thank you very much for everyone who left a comment saying, M, don't buy the Man of War headset. You'll regret it because it'll break. I appreciate the feedback. Moving on, let's go ahead and talk about my current peripheral setup and like my mouse pad and stuff. So a lot of you have told me to pick up the new like Goliathus Chroma extended mouse pad for the setup. And I kind of thought like, you know, if I do buy it, it'll look really weird because I already have like the Mamba Hyperflux mouse and there's just a lot of RGB already. But I did see a picture on Twitter of some other guy having like the exact same setup as me. He had the Huntsman, he had the uh, Mamba Hyperflux mouse and he also had the Goliathus extended Chroma mouse pad as well. And it actually looked really good. The Goliathus extended mouse pad is actually quite a bit bigger than the Firefly Hyperflux mouse pad is genuinely like a massive extended Chroma mouse pad. They did a good job. Unfortunately though, the Chroma extended mouse pad doesn't really support the wave function like my other peripherals do, but I don't think that would actually be that big of a problem as I could set the entire mouse pad to be white and I'm sure that would look just fine. So I'll probably end up picking up that extended mouse pad at the end of this month or at the start of next month. In my opinion, I think that this extended mouse pad would actually look pretty cool in my setup but I'd love to hear your opinion as well in the comment section down below. So if you think I should get the extended mouse pad, let me know. 
I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, over the past couple of months of me posting videos here on YouTube, a lot of people have asked me about fitness and gym related content and whether or not I'm going to be posting like gym related content and fitness related content on this tech block channel and the answer is no because it's a tech channel but on the tech block vlog series which is kind of like my little personal series I guess where just not mainly about tech I can talk about other things as well uh, so here are some clips from me in the gym uh, there's gonna be probably a leg session as well as like uh, us training chest biceps and shoulders so if you want to continue watching the rest of the video it'll just be fitness related content uh, but yeah enjoy the gym videos you actually not look you don't actually look too bad. It's just shame that's like it's not natty. Goes lifestyle free workout. What I need to do, but is bring my studio light. <laughs> Not bring one of them. I hope you enjoyed watching that gym video that me and my friend Bartek filmed. I'll leave his social media links in the description down below to his Instagram and YouTube channel as well. So if you do want to go show him some love over on his social media, be sure to do so. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. And uh, let him know Tech Block M sent you. So. Anyway, thank you very much for watching episode 3 of the Tech Block Vlog, and I hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.